Do you remember what your hands can do? Grab a needle and thread and let's sew together. When I'm sewing, I'm keeping my back nice and straight and I'm using my lap as a table. You might notice that as I pull that needle up, I'm not using my wrist, but I'm actually using my whole arm. In this video, we're gonna talk about how I like to hold my hands and proper sewing technique. When I hand sew, it's coming from a place of clothing construction. My whole goal is to sew efficiently with the notion that I probably am making a whole garment. So when I hold a needle, I pinch it with my thumb and my forefinger, and I take the middle finger of my dominant hand and I curl it inward. And so what that's going to do is it's gonna position this middle finger perfectly so that it's actually going to be sitting at the back of that needle prime to then help push that needle through. But I'm also gonna be using my left hand. Essentially, the left hand is going to be prepping the material, shaping the material, and then the right hand is going to be wielding the needle. So these are kind of, they're, they're a team. They're, they're working together in order to, to sew. And in order to create the proper tension for the fabric, I have my, my wrists and my arms on the table. I'm gonna be pu pushing down just ever so slightly to kind of press into the, into the table. I'm not gonna be curling my body in. I'm still gonna keep my back straight, but I am going to use the table, a little bit of tension there so that I can then hold the fabric and stabilize the fabric on my hands, which is which are then stabilized by the table. All of that is going to want to keep the, the needle relatively parallel to our body. So to baste, which is just a big running stitch, to hold this fabric temporarily up, folded, I'm going to dip the needle down to the fabric, and then I'm going to use my left hand to gently push this fabric down, and my right hand is going to rock. So at the same time, my hands are kind of rocking in this motion, and so that needle can go through. I'm gonna push it with my middle finger. I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb and forefinger, pulling this out, pulling, pulling, pulling. And then I'm gonna use my pinky and I'm gonna push the pinky away from my body. And once that pinky kind of connects with the thread and then it connects with the fabric, there'll be a slight resistance there. And then you'll know that the tension is correct. The shape of my hand as I'm stitching is going to be in kind of an infinity or kind of a figure eight symbol. And I'm gonna be taking my hand and I'm gonna be going away from my body. I'm not gonna be going this direction. I'm not gonna try and like push my body away. I'm just gonna be keeping my back straight and just gently moving my hand, essentially in, in somewhat of this motion. So again, I'm gonna dip that needle into the fabric, kind of rock it back up again, pushing it with my middle finger and then catching it with my pinky. So let me do a couple more stitches so you can just see how I'm not moving my wrist. This is a whole arm motion. And I'm using my left hand also again to stabilize the fabric. So I'm pinching this fabric with my left hand. My hand is stabilized by the table and then the fabric is being stabilized by my fingers. Sometimes this loops up and that's fine. My goal in this video is just to show you my sewing technique. It's not necessarily to teach you one specific stitch, but really just to reinforce that the needle does not have to move in any kind of really um, remarkable way and keeping it parallel to your body, keeping your hands relaxed and getting into a nice motion where you're not actually uh, moving your wrist in any kind of uh, very aggressive way is going to keep your hands nice and comfortable. Now I'm gonna put this aside and very quickly show you how I like to stretch my hands. So if you start to feel any kind of tension here or here, what I like to do is press, put my elbow on the table and then press my fingers away from me. And then that's gonna stretch, that's gonna stretch my hands, um, and kind of shaking them out. Sometimes I even use ice to, to um, ice my wrist if I've been sewing particularly long. Now remember to keep your back straight your hands nice and relaxed. And remember to always keep that work at navel height, be it because your knees are elevated or it's on the table or you have a pillow under your work. Regardless, happy sewing.